Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of Ted's Booze Cellar, the most premier alcohol review show here on YouTube with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Today it is currently quarter past eight on Saturday the 21st of August. Hope I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs and if I'm not then I hope things improve for you very promptly. Now the reason why there's slightly different surroundings now, well I mean we're still in my studio flat, but I recently built a uh, main dining table so I'm using that for placing the recording tablet on now so yeah it should look quite all right it should look at least a little slightly better lighting I think but today we're going to be taking a look at something a bit more out there compared to the last couple of reviews this is a beer by a brewery called Wild Weather uh, and this beer is called Dude Where's My Donut and it is a chocolate covered custard donut white stout um, yeah, I don't know what to think of this one because that is a lot of different flavours in one drink and it kind of gives, this is one of those ones where I feel like it's probably got the biggest margin between, or sorry, rather that there's a very fine line between it being either really good or being really terrible. Now I'm going to give Wild Fe Weather the benefit of the doubt, I keep calling, almost calling them Wild Feather, stop it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because it's an unfiltered, unpasteurized natural beer with a lot of interesting sounding flavors and done by a very interesting little craft brewery. So I feel like with mainstream beers, generally speaking, they tend to perhaps not be as out there as craft beers, but you probably get a more consistent level of quality. Whereas with like beers like this, there's probably a greater chance than being bad but there's also probably like a really high margin of them being good as well if you see what I mean so I'm going to give this the benefit of the doubt and see what it's like now I got this for £5.29 on the wine barrel in Western Road in Hove um, so it's a pretty decent price for like a beer this size I think especially for like such an interesting craft beer and I've got to say I do like the design of the writing I mean like the design of the artwork on the can is a bit messy and it's kind of all over the place but the writing and the font choice is really good so I'll give it a good 6 out of 10 for that. It could just do with a slightly bit more neat and tidy line work but generally speaking yeah it looks alright. So let's give ourselves a quick snifter a bit and see what our first impressions are like so I mean it kind of smells like a white chocolate, it kind of smells like a cross between a white chocolate milkshake and a pint of Guinness. It's got a slight sense of fizziness to it. Yeah, it definitely smells like a craft stout. I don't know. Yeah, the best thing I can think of is crossing a craft stout with sparkling water, a white chocolate milkshake, and a pint of Guinness. I'm not sure if that's probably the best descriptor I could give for it, because it's not the most overly flattering one, uh, admittedly. But, I don't know, that's the impression I get anyway. So, well, uh, first of all, let's have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to see what this sucker tastes like. So, to everyone at home, bottoms up. Oh. Doesn't barely taste of anything, actually. Ooh, not sure about that aftertaste. There's this weird sort of like gloppy aftertaste that I feel is present in quite a few craft stouts. That's not great. Mm. It's got this weird juicy flavour to it, which I wasn't expecting. It's like I'm drinking a peach stout, not a donut one. What the hell is this? The more I drink of this, the worse it gets, and the more confused I am. Like. I was expecting something maybe with like a slight juiciness to the texture of it, but it just seems to be like, let's just write a bunch of go gobbledygook on the front of the can, and then maybe flavour it with a tiny bit of vanilla and leave it at that. This literally just tastes like a vanilla spritzer. This doesn't taste or feel like a stout at all. What, what is this? Got to get glass or something to pour it out to see what the 
colour of it looks like. Because this does not taste like a craft stout. And evidently, I'm going to be using my Guinness half pint glass because that's evidently a better stout, to be quite honest. And I'm not trying to say that to be horrible, but it's just the honest truth. So, what does this look like? That is not the hue of a stout. I mean, it kind of looks like a cross between a juicy pale ale and a stout. That, that's, no. It's 6% alcohol volume as well. Like, and it doesn't, I don't, I don't know. The more I drink, yeah, the more I drink of this, the more confused I get. Cause like, I would expect it to have a slight sense of juiciness and fizziness and light wateriness as quite a few craft stouts do. And that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. But that literally seems to be all there is. This is probably the most bang average craft stout I've ever had. It's not the worst one, granted, but it's... It's damn close. Um, yeah. That was pretty bad. Um, four and a half out of ten. I really wouldn't recommend it. It's nothing special. It's slightly below average. It's really quite poor, actually. So yeah, I would not recommend it at all. Um, it touts having multiple different flavors in it and I can't taste any of them. Maybe that's just me. Maybe someone might, else might get more out of it. So I would say probably still try it to see if you're interested, but for me, I just can't see the appeal. So yeah, I'm just after this video, I'm just gonna go drink a bottle of Belgian bar bar honey beer that I got out of my fridge. But um, yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar, or you may have agreed or disagreed with my 4.5 out of 10 rating, leave your ideas, pardon me, in the comment section down below. And yeah, if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to all that kind of thing in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now. God, how disappointing.